Connecting the Phantom X via USB to your computer is a fast and easy way to transfer files. Let's take a look. The first thing we want to do is connect a USB cable from the computer to the Phantom X. Then press the menu button and cursor down to USB storage. Then press enter. Now you have two options. You can either look at what's inside the internal memory of the Phantom X or what's on the memory card. In this case, we're going to look at the internal memory. So I press F3, and then it shows up that we're connected to the computer via USB. The Phantom X user drive will appear on the desktop of your computer. Locate it, and double click it to open it up. I think it's important that we identify what these folders mean. Uh, when you're working with sequences, this sequence folder song is where you load in your MIDI files. So I'm just going to go over here and drag the MIDI file over there. There it is. Now it's going to show up inside the Phantom X. Now, if I want to bring in audio, I simply go down here to the temporary folder and drag my audio into audio import. And there it will show up inside. There it's starting to copy. Okay, after it's finished copying the audio into the folder, it'll show up just like that. And you can also do the same thing with text files. And this is great for live performance to give you notes on uh, how, to, how you, to play a certain part of the song or what key it's in or any type of notes that you want to bring in. You can bring those into the Phantom X. It's a very, very useful feature. So all you have to do is just drag and drop your files from the desktop right into the Phantom X. The contents of the sound folder is basically everything that's inside the Phantom X right now performances, patches, and it's great for archiving because you can save all this data, just drag it over to your desktop into a separate folder, copy it, and then name it. And there it is, perfect for archiving.